Hi everyone, in this short video, I'm going to guide you through creating your very first app. Of course, it's going to be brief. It just will expose you to what you need to do and how you should, you know, the steps you should follow to build your first app. The first thing is you need to go to office.com. Now, for you to be able to access this office.com, you need the Microsoft 365 developer account. Right now, I've signed in into one. In case you've not, it's not your personal email. You need to create one. We have shared the link and I'm also going to put the link to the resource right here for you. The link you can see on the screen right now, you can actually use it or click on the, you know, video description section. You see the link to actually guide you through creating your own Microsoft 365 developer account. So when creating an application, you need to think about the front end and the back end. Let's start from where we will drop this data, which is the back end. There are many components in Microsoft 365 that you can use as your back end, but we're going to be using Microsoft list here. So while you're here, you can click on all apps and your list might not be here, might be down, but you can scroll through this and you see list. List is like, you know, table, like Excel for planning, you know, planning activities or even creating a backend to store for some data. And what I have right there, because this is the very first time, so you're going to see something like this. I'm just going to skip this and I have to create a new list. This is where I want to store my data. I can call it anything. I'm going to create a blank and call this run app, run app, something like this. And I'm going to click on create. So this is like a table we are creating now where we want to store this record, but it's a blank table and it comes with one column by default and that column is title. I can actually rename this column by going to column settings, rename. Let's call it first name because this is what we are interested in, you know, in our simple app. Don't, you know, you can always create additional column, right? First name. And if I come over here to create another column, single line of text, this is the limit. You know, I just want to take the last name here, single line of text. When it's asking for name, it's not my name. So I can't put a line of you It's the name of the column. So I need last name here. I'm going to put last name. And if you want to describe what last name means, you can put it right here. Um, default value, no need for anyone, anything. And just click on save. And let's move to another one, which is actually multiple line of text. I want to store address. And when storing address, you can write so many things, you know, longer text in the, you know, uh, address. And here I'm going to put address. Because it's multiple line of text, it shows that, you know, you can type more than one line, you know, and you can take more data. So, save. We've created three columns just now. Interesting, right? Let's go ahead and create the last one, which is institution, you know, single line of text. And you say institution. All right. Same thing. I'm going to click on save. Amazing and impressive that we just created a backend where we are storing information. The next step here is to integrate Power Apps. We want to build Power Apps on top of this database. And you will do that by going to integrate right here. You see Power Apps. You see, create an app. It's going to ask you to name your app. The backend will store the database as run app. That is the name we gave to the database. But now we're going to call our app run app as well. You no, know, it's still the same. You see, uh, yeah. I'm going to click on create right now. It will launch Power Apps. Remember, we talked about Power Apps, and it's just going to try to sign you into your existing account. If it's not doing that, it might also ask you, prompt you to put in your login details. Otherwise, You'll be fine. And here I am fine. And for the very first time, it's going to be loading. Of course, you see this on the screen, prompting you for the first time. Uh, my local is asking me to shoot my country or you know my region. Uh, it's now I'm in Nigeria, but I might want to choose here because some solution might be available in that country at first for preview. And if you're in Nigeria, you might not even see it. But of course, it also determine your local, the language settings as well as uh, the time zone that I put you. So I'm going to put Nigeria and say get started. Of course. So why that is happening? This is running through my application, plugging things together and making sure I have my first application. We will not be doing any modification on this just to play and add one record to be sure that yes, this app is functional. That is it. This app is functional. To the left hand side there, you see there are three columns already, um, three views already created for you. And this view controls so many things. Here it is empty because there's nothing on the app. Go to click on it at the top right here to preview this app. And you can see I can search, but <laughs> there's no app here to search for. So let's go ahead and click on plus here to create a new item. What is it actually? We name this as first name, but because title is the initial uh, column that comes with that SharePoint list or that Microsoft list, it's always retained that name, except I rename it myself. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and put that as my first name, you know, Olan Wajo. Uh, people call me Charles sometimes, but Charles is not my last name. I'm going to put Charles here. Address, uh, of course, 
Uh, they said this is Garden of Eden. I know it's Garden of Eden, but let's do Garden of Eden. Uh, you can use Eden your time. Let's put Eden. It's a good place because I like your institution. You know, this is um, the Demons. Sorry, the Demons University. That's the name of the institution. You want to attach any file, you can do that here and click here. You know, this automatically stays store, store this record. So we have one record with us now. If I go back to the back end here, why this is not uploaded, it updated. If I refresh, oh, even before I refresh, it's already there. You see how it drop on the list. Amazing. So I want you to go through this process. Of course, you can open this guy up, see the record, you can edit, and it's going to take change. For example, my surname is actually um Oyimbo. Okay, so this is my surname. And I'm going to click on this to make this update. It has changed. If I go back to this uh, list, see it's just here. Even before I refresh, very soon now, this will have changed. As you can see right now, it has changed to import because it's taking effect. So we just wanted to go through and create your own very first application as well. Don't forget, we wanted to showcase what you are learning. And thank you once again for your audience. Bye.